So in this video we're going to draw two types of rounded roofs. One is going to be a dome and here we're going to do a cone. In order to do those, the first thing of course is drawing the correspondent ellipse which is going to be the base of it. As you can see, I first determine which is going to be the long axis and the short one. And according to that, again, I will try to draw the ellipse in one single trace, in one single blow. I do exactly the same thing here. I try not to draw that ellipse to, to hard, to bold, since at least this part, in both cases, is going to be hidden. Now, I'm going to start with the cone. From the center of the ellipse, I will just need to go upwards to the height that I wish. From here on, I will have to join this point with the extremes here of that base and also with the visible parts of my cone, such like this. Immediately you are starting to understand the shape of this type of roof. In case you do not want to, to draw this roof as a part of, of a box, we can immediately convert this into, in fact, a rounded tower, a cylindrical, cylindrical tower. So now the dome. The dome is usually half of a sphere. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take that, that sphere and we're going to have a just just a cut of it. Okay? So basically we are going to start again with this with the sphere. And as the as we did with the cone, we're going to start from the center and we're going to go upwards. And only if this is going to be the diameter of our of our cone, we cannot go to to tall because otherwise it's not going to be a, a spheric dome, it's going to be another kind of, of, of dome, it's going to be a stretched sphere dome. Well, we can do it really as, as tall as we wish, but from that point on, we will have to understand that this distance should be as big as that. That is the radius, so to say. So from here on, we're going to draw this section, okay? And then we are going to join this vertex with each and every one of those points here only the closer I get to this point, which is basically a straight line, the less rounded these sections are going to be. Let's look at that. And again, if we want to convert this into cylindrical tower, this ellipse should be exactly the same here. In case you want to add some circle windows, make sure that this one here is basically perfectly uh, circular and then those become more and more elliptical. <laughs> 